Hi, my followers, everybody on YouTube. This is uh, another video. Uh, this time we're going to be working on uh, Vauxhall 2006, I believe. And this is the one, let me focus this, uh, is the Z14 Zep. Uh, so it's the 1.4 petrol. This is actually the dual fuel. Uh, is gas and petrol, but anyway, I'm uh, I'm um, diagnosing this car on petrol mode. Uh, the problem with the car is the same petrol mode or gas mode. It doesn't matter. It does exactly it behaves exactly the same way. And uh, what it does is is a bad, really bad misfire. I'm going to show you in the end because at the moment the car is kind of stripped out, so I can't really start the car now. But when I put everything together, it's going to still the same. Uh, but um, you're going to see how bad he misfires. Um, I I've I have actually diagnosed the problem already, and I'm gonna what I'm going to show you is um, how to get to this and uh, how to actually um, diagnose this. Um, basically, the misfire w was really bad um, under the ECU. Uh, the only thing the ECU would tell me was. I think it was I don't know if the codes are still here but uh, oh the ignition in is, is off sorry guys anyway, let me try again so that's that's the codes right I forget forget about the wrong transponder key that's forget about that one but is the, the, the first three and uh, they just keep coming on doesn't matter how many time you clear them whatever so the garage where this car came from or the place where this car came from um, they had the coil pack replaced and they had all the glow plugs oh, sorry all the spark plugs replaced now as soon as I start the car here for the first time I've noticed that the engine would turn over really loose uh, really quick if you know what I mean I think that kind of things comes with experience when you you know it's like if it was running too freely so anyway what I've done is um, the first thing I've done was uh, I came back here I came to output tests and one by one I've tested the coil pack make sure the coil pack was actually working because a brand new coil pack if the ECU was not giving the signal to um, to to the, the to all these cylinders obviously even a, a brand new coil pack would would make no difference but I've checked one by one and they all work um, then I've checked the glow plug the demo Oh yeah, I've checked the spark plugs and they are all good. They are brand new, so they are all good. Then my next uh, approach was to check, to do a compression test. Okay? Which I did. So I did a compression test. You can do a compression test using this. But uh, what I've done is, this is not really very good to be honest, but uh, what I've done is, I've done a compression test using one of these uh, compression testers. Okay, so basically it's very simple. You take the glow plug. The why I keep saying glow plugs. You take the spark plug off, and you just screw this in. You tick the engine, and you see the gauge moving. On this car, it should go up to about 175 psi, give or take 12 kilograms per square centimeter it's about 175 and I'm going to show you just that so I've tested all the other cylinders there's there's this is the last one I haven't tested yet and then I have the one that is actually faulted so I'm going to show you how we should behave so the moment is plugged in to cylinder one okay and I'm going to turn the key and you're going to see it going up to 175. Mm. 
okay so this one is okay he's holding the pressure in there as you can see so I would say this is quite acceptable So it is now plugged in onto cylinder two, which is the faulty one. I've tested already, but just for the video, I'm going to show you again. So you saw on cylinder one, as soon as I start, as soon as the the, the engine starts to turn, that start on which each stroke that just starts went up and went a little bit over 175, um, so around that that area there, uh, and um, that that's roughly where you should go. So we're going to test now on cylinder two and watch to see what happens. Exactly, nothing happens. It doesn't even move. So, guys, this, this is why it's misfiring so badly. I'm gonna put everything back together. I'm gonna to show you how, me, how badly it misfires, but I think you can guess it will misfire. Now, this can be caused by several things, but because it's only one cylinder like this, uh, I've checked already, there's no uh, oil on water or water on oil. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, I don't think it's the head gasket. What I think it is, is, is a sticky valve somewhere. It can be the seams on the valve as well, the, the, the sealants, or it can be the the rings but to do this not even move I doubt is the rings because okay. is if it was the rings it would move a little bit you know what I mean it's not moving at all so that's gonna have to be a valve definitely it's gonna be a valve but um, the video was just to demonstrate how you can check for uh, how you can do a compression test how you can check a bad cylinder for compression so that's it guys problem diagnosed thank you for watching uh, any questions put them below so there is guys i hope you can see how badly is misfiring the car actually stalls sometimes but so uh, this is why it does I'm going to rev the car slightly so you can see what it does. Hope you can hope you can hear all this. So this was the initial problem. I can also show you when you actually take over how loose the car the engine goes. Well, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that but uh, you can really see, but it's, it's like if it's you, you could nearly straight away see it was not compression. So the test was really just to confirm my suspicion. And uh, yes, I forgot to make this bit, so I had to record it now. Thank you for watching.